Yo, this is Delusional. How are you guys doing today? For for this video, I wanted to do something similar to what I already done in this channel, having to do with analyzing. I can't even say that. Diagnosing exactly my uh, combat prowess, how exactly how I play with Yoshimitsu or any other characters that I have basically played, and giving my thoughts across as to what I was trying to do in the gameplay against my opponent. Now I'm gonna do the same thing except I'll be looking at other people's gameplay and then see exactly what they could have done, what they're trying to do, or at least, you know, get in a, a grasp of diagnosing the video or the replay in this case. So let's get to it. Now the player that we're going to be looking at will be the Yoshimitsu here. Of course, since I'm a Yoshimitsu main, we're going to be seeing his gameplay. Now before we start, I know now how to pause. I kept pausing with the start button. I'm pausing with the circle button now because I didn't know that you could do it because I'm probably blind as fuck. So I messed up and didn't see that there is literally a pause play button by pressing circle. So now I know. So right now, the players in mind is a Shinryu Yoshimitsu against an Eliminator Asuka. Now again, depending on what they may do in the fight, I'll then explain what they could have done in a situation. So that way, you'll have an idea what you could do into your gameplay. Okay, he's going for his 10 hit combo. And he combos into it, smart! Alright. Here, I would assume that if he wants to, he goes into flee into 2 to catch it with the low. This can easily catch the Asuka off guard. Let's see what he does. He, he was going to go for it, but the Asuka ended up interrupting him with that move. What it could have done there is that he could have either pressed down into flea stance, right? Because you can go down kind of like you're thrusting the ground, you know, like you're kind of humping the ground. If he would have done that, there's a chance that he could actually evade the mid because the flea down, when you're pressing down, actually evades certain mids. So there's a possibility that he could have done that. Another thing that he could have done was that he could have actually pressed up to jump. And if she went to attack him, then the sword would have fallen on top of her and she would have gone an unblockable... Um, unblockable? <laughs> I can't even say it. She would have been hit by the move. That's the other option. The third option that he could have done was that he could have used three or four to spin away from her. I would say that using the three button to get away probably would have been the best means of evading her move so those are the options that he would have had but he did make the right choice just that the asuka essentially retaliated and interrupted him okay nice he flash tucked right there let's go back and see that you right here he ended up flash tucking he ducked immediately and then got right back up he would have been hit. Maybe? Wait, let's see that one more time, one more time, one more time. The range of that move? No, 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 he, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't have gotten hit. Even if he flash ducked, he wouldn't have gotten hit by that move. So she ended up, she, ah, words. She ended up whiffing. But he didn't uh, use his opportunity to attack with either a 1-1. That could have been the best choice, using a 1-1 right there. Instead, he goes for a down forward 2. Okay, he should have managed to block that. If that happens when he when she does that string, see that one more time. She whiffs. That move into that kick. That usually is the usual setup. That Ascals will go. They go for that move into the low. She does have another string that she can use, but what she what he could have done there is flash ducked to then cover both grounds. So he got hit. She goes for her down forward two. He goes for up forward two, ends up getting interrupted. Oh, goes for a wall combo. She could have gotten more damage if he used a one plus four into her string, into the final hit with a four. Would have gotten more damage. Okay, nice. One back, one one. All right, gets a command grab. I don't know if that was a command grab or that was the one plus three grab. I don't, I'm not familiar with all the grabs in the game. 
He goes into Heat Burst. He'll keep blocks. Again, he gets grabbed. To tell whether or not the grab is... Let me go back. To show you what the grab is. Let's see. From what it looks like, she went for a one grab. Because her left arm came out first before the right arm extended. So this might be a one grab. I could be wrong here because it's so hard to tell when somebody is doing a grab from which arm, basically. Let's see. Okay, goes for a low kick. I would have actually just instead decided to just side roll away or either just immediately get up. He's doing his 10 hit grab uh, combo in. This guy is a menace and goes for his one plus three grab, his one grab. Round two. Fight. Nice. Okay, goes for back three three into the same ten hit grab. You can beat this grab. Uh, sorry, I keep saying grab. His ten hit move. <laughs> you can beat this uh, ten hit move or ten hit string. Right there, when she blocked, he could she could have at least sidestepped to beat it. And if she gets hit by that unblockable mid move, right? Then the second unblockable is guaranteed. Okay, she goes in for her power crush heat engager. Command grabs again. Let's see that command grab one more time. Okay. This is a one plus two. I believe this is a one plus two break. Both arms extended. So if he would have done a one plus two break. He would have broken that broken that grab. Oh nice. Mid kick. Goes for a power crush just like her. Smart. He goes into Indian stance into one. Nice. She didn't block uh the last hit of three, two, one plus two is not guaranteed. If it's a counter hit, a possibility that the last hit could end up being free? I don't think so. I think that the last hit is not guaranteed, so she ended up pressing buttons there. And she goes for it. Okay. Yeah, she he can't do anything in that situation. Since he was in Kincho stance, you can't block. Round three. Fight. Okay. She could have she could have retaliated right there. That's actually negative on block. Okay, dig jab, okay. Oh, goals for sidestep two. Does he know the combo? No, he does not. Okay, the same power crush. He loves to do that. Another grab. He goes for the grab now. I guess he just felt like he wanted to do it too. What he should have done there instead, instead of trying to go for the grab attempt, was sidestep. But she didn't. Uh, he didn't. He or she didn't do that. Or he could have just ducked. Okay. He's going for another, uh, I think this is the six hit string. I, mean, uh, I think it's three, four, 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 two, two, one, one. So that's four, yeah, six hits. Could have went for flash. If you block the spring kick, you can flash right there. So anyone that uses a a spring kick, a spring kick against you, man, my English today, you can flash automatically. You it will be a free hit right after that. So you can get yourself the free hit engager for back two two. Nice. Now he ducks. Now he ducks the power crush. He was anticipating it. But if I were him. Once he ducked it, going for a wall standing 2-1 for the launcher would have been the best choice. But okay, he gets it there. Ah, he should have went for 3-2-1 plus 2 and delayed the 1 plus 2 to get more damage. Okay, goes for Kencho 3 into up forward 2. Smart. Final round. Fight. Okay, power crush. Okay, goes into Indian stance. 
Smart, smart player, smart player. He's really trying to play like Yoshimitsu, like a party Yoshimitsu character. Okay. Uh, what I would have done in the situation of Steph since he managed to evade her was do back two into one. That's what I, what, what, uh, what, what I would have done. <laughs> Okay, get to the string, did another string ender. Goes for another grab. Th th these two are, are both going for grabs. I I'm not gonna lie to you, if you're a Shinryu and you're grabbing a lot and you've seen 10 hit strings, you should really learn your fundamentals a bit, bo a bit more. But I'm not gonna announce the guy's name, so I'm just gonna... Okay, I would have thought she would have pressed buttons right here, but I guess not. Goes for grabs again, needs to stop. Goes for the 10 hit string, I, I bet. Yeah, he goes, what? Okay, Ooh, what is this guy doing right now? Okay, he could have low parry there, or either he could have went for a hop kick. And decides to attack her. Okay, I guess he, this guy lost. He could have actually won the game if he applied more fundamentals with Yoshimitsu. Instead of just relying heavily on the 10 hit string and trying to go for grabs. Okay, so there you have it. The things I'm going to summarize is this. The individual that was playing Yoshimitsu, he kept on going for 10 head strings and just doing the bare minimum of utilizing some of the tricks that Yoshimitsu can do in the game. He wasn't applying proper fundamentals. He was just heavily just crutching himself with the 10 head string and the grabs. That's the only thing that he was really basically doing. He was applying other moves like the 4-4 into the other four and then instead of relying on using his no sword stance to then either apply a lot more neutral game with either up back one plus two or using down forward four or even down forward one and but he was applying some level of intermediate tech with the flash ducking that he was doing but i'm starting to think that he wasn't really applying it consciously he was doing unconsciously like he was just doing it during the moment right like he was just checking to see whether or not if the opponent was going to do something and he was unsure so he ended up flash ducking but it wasn't on purpose he wasn't really using proper fundamentals he was just mostly applying the tenant strain to get by with that move now it could be that he maybe was just playing very casually and wasn't even trying like he wasn't even attempting to try with yoshimitsu against somebody that was an eliminator rank at that point but if not then He's gonna get hard stuck at the red ranks if that's all he does. He's gonna find opponents that are much stronger than him at that point. If he does find somebody that's either a mighty ruler or either a Tenryu level Yoshimitsu, he's gonna see the difference between what he is doing against other players that played just like him. Sorry, that played his his character, that is. And he will then have to readjust how he plays around with Yoshimitsu. So I hope that this was entertaining i guess i hope that it was helpful that you can understanding what was going on in the fight what he could have done in that situation he did do things that were correct i do give him that just that there were a few moments that he could have done x and y and z moments where again he could have either applied a samurai cutter if he was fully crouched at certain points he could apply better mix-up planning with his other moves but he really didn't just went straight for the 10 head string which i advise not to do at higher levels so again he did okay just that needs to remove the habit of doing the 10 head string that's the only thing i can say besides that i feel like if if i were streaming i can then teach you guys what you could have done in that situation even though i'm not a coach i'm not a professional player i just play the game at a high level i guess i mean i don't know you guys may decide that i'm not really high level at all I'm just somebody who acts like I'm high level and yeah, you could be right. Yeah, I'm pretty just average. I'm just average. But I, I know some things with Yoshimitsu. So if you know, if you want to know about Yoshimitsu, I can help you with that. But if it's with other characters, I can't really say. So <laughs> that's all I can really get at. Besides that, if you like what you watched, please give it a like. Please comment down on this video. It helps me out. The YouTube algorithm can be a bitch sometimes. And yeah, stay tuned.